going on everyone so today I'm gonna to install some chicken lights on the truck so where they're gonna be installed is right here on the running board down below on this panel they're gonna run the whole length so I picked these lights up for ten dollars on Amazon the little LED lights they came in a 10 pack so it's gonna be five on each side and first things we gotta do is get the running boards off the truck So next is to lay out the lights. I'm going to do mine at 18 inch on center. That gives me one in each end and three in the middle. All right, so what I just did was I marked it out at 18 inches on center. Uh, this flange is inch and a half thick. So I'm going to go at three quarters inches. The lights themselves are Outside to outside is one inch and the light itself is about three quarters of an inch. So that should put the light in the center of this flange right here. So let's go ahead and start drilling. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to drill a pilot hole with an eighth inch drill bit. Okay, pilot holes drilled. Next we're going to move up to a half inch bit which I don't think it's going to be big enough, but we'll see if we get a light to squeeze in there. All right, now we got all the holes drilled. Now we got to figure out how to make it bigger. Try the old walled out method. All right, so after some test fitting and getting all things done, I finally got it to fit. All you gotta do is just take your drill and wall out the hole. So let's go ahead and do the rest of the holes. I'll check back in with you when I'm ready to start putting it all together. All right, so we got them all installed, nicely spaced. Pretty uh, pretty easy to do, even though if, I have a, if you have a half inch bit, you just gotta take it and just kinda wall out the hole a little bit. Get the rubber inserted and just push this through. They actually do have a top and bottom. If you can look at the lines, they, uh, they're they supposed to go up and down. It's hard to tell, but actually it says top right there. So we'll go ahead and get the passenger side done and then we'll get back to wiring. All right, so the next part is the wire. And I know if you grab a little nine volt battery and you take these two wires, touch them, nothing happens, flip the battery around. It lights up. So I know that the black is positive and the white is negative. So I got my spool of wire here, and it's red, so I know it's power. I'm gonna go ahead and wire up all the blacks to one, and I'm gonna wire up all the whites to one. The way I'm gonna do it is with a soldering gun and some solder. So let's go ahead and let's get this wired up. I'm going to solder up the rest of this and I'll get back with you guys. Alright everyone, so I'm all done wiring these things up. It was actually pretty simple. What I did was I actually wired it to one of the amber lights on the dually fender. It's pretty simple, it's not hard to do, it's just a simple splice into it. But this is the final product of what it looks like. Much nicer. So, that's a pretty simple light upgrade. They're plenty bright, they look cool, easy to see. And they're wired into this amber light right here, right behind the fender. Again, pretty simple splicing deal. But overall, very easy upgrade ten dollars gives the truck a much cooler look or uh i guess a semi look is guess what i'm going for now 
don't know, maybe I'll add stacks. Let me know. So, I know this video is pretty dark right now because it's dark out because that's why I 